Okay, so what we have here is a Unimat DB200 lathe slash mill. Um, it's in great shape. Yeah, everything works great. I can turn this one finger. So everything here, you know, everything works great. And got a little, little three jaw chuck here. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a tiny little machine. It's it was made in the 50s, 40s or the 50s, and uh, it was used for watchmaking and stuff like that. And uh, I'm not going to do it now, but just, you know, make some adjustments. And this whole piece kind of comes up ass over tea kettle and uh, turns into a mill. So anyway, my question is, this here runs on regular house, well, AC house voltage, 110. Um, it used to have a switch. Uh, the switch broke, so I just run it in line. Now, um, here's my question. And if anybody out there can help me, uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, so let me run it for you. It runs nice and smooth. Belts back here. Okay, so what I did is I hooked it up to a variac. And, uh, and, you know, obviously in the hopes of getting this motor to slow down without having to put the belts on a different, uh, you know, gear. Um, and I totally didn't expect it to work, but it did. So, I mean, it's a brushed, brushed AC motor. Um, it, I don't see uh, a separate uh, start capacitor, uh, you know, starting capacitor. I know a lot of them, a lot of motors that have a starting capacitor, you really can't use a Variac with or any kind of speed control. But, um, and my question is, am I going to do damage to this thing? Uh, by running it this way, or you know, um, would have would the damage already kind of have been done? Uh, yeah. So, anybody who has any information that can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. And secondly, anybody with any information on the machine on the, on the unit itself, with the any, either any parts they you know, want to get rid of, or you know, small lead in general that they're looking to get rid of or you know, something like that I'm definitely uh, trying to make this get this to be all that it can be and get the most out of it and you know ideally I'd like to uh, get a, a much larger uh, shop lathe not too large but uh, you know used uh, decent sized shop lathe um, for the house here for the workshop yeah, I mean, for the age, you can see the, the ways are, the ways are in great shape. The uh, everything's in great shape. Let me turn it around, show you. Stamping's on the motor. Get the light over there. Made in Holland, the motor, and the machine is made in Austria. The lathe itself, which is most likely why it's still in such great shape. So, yeah, Unimat DB200. And keep in mind, this is not the SL DB200. This is just the DB200. Uh, so, yeah, any information, I'd much appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I hope to hear from you. Bye.